Hello and welcome to Lone Star Conference Media Day. I am Ryland Stiles. Thank you for joining us. I'm here with head coach Emma Andrews of the Cameron women basketball team here at Cameron University. And this is Lone Star Conference Online Media Days. Emma, the first question I have for you is the fact of the pandemic, obviously, since March has put a lot of different wrinkles at you. Preparing for this season has been a lot different than before. What has been the biggest obstacle you've had to overcome to this point? Um, obviously, for, for a lot of people, probably just remaining healthy is the biggest thing. I'm trying to, to maximize the most amount of time that you get on the floor um, and, and really using the time that you have with the team to build chemistry on and off the floor, honestly, too. Um, obviously, everything's different. Um, the things you would do even as a team and team bonding is different off the floor. So, um, but, but really maximizing that time and staying healthy. Um, it's really hard right now when you're in and out and, and all those things. So trying to pick back up where you left off is very different to obviously years before this. So, One thing that's going to be different from years before this for the schedule wise is that you're going to be playing the same team in the, in the exact same week. How different will that be preparing for each team? Oh, that's 100% different and it'll be a new challenge for everybody. Um, you know, usually you have time to, to get better and to change some things before you see that team again. And, um, but this time is a really quick turnaround, whether it's a day or two days. And um, you have to be able to take what you learned from that night before and, and really turn it around by the next day, whether um, that's a win or a loss or a close game or a blowout. Um, you have to be able to, to re regroup and, and get back on the horse and, and go again. And so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And you mentioned it right there that there's sometimes we're going to be playing a team back to back and, and not have a day off of rest. How different will that be getting your players ready to go the very next day? You know, I think that that is a challenge, but, um, you know, the way we run our tournament and, and all those things, usually um, you do fall with games back to back. And so I think that gets you ready for tournament play and, and that time anyway. And so I don't see that too much as a, as a problem, more of just a preparation. And so this season, you obviously had a different offseason program than normal, but I think that there was a lot of chances to learn about your team through the, all the adversity you've seen since March. What's the biggest thing you've learned about your squad since then? Um, honestly, um, they grow together, I think is the biggest thing. Um, they don't let anything affect their personality or the heart that they have for this game and this program. Um, it's been unreal, um, how they handle themselves and the maturity in which they approach situations. Um, this year has really shown me that I've never been more proud to coach a, a group of young ladies than this team. Obviously the, the newcomers are going to have a big impact this year because you just never know from game to game or in day to day, who's going to be available for your next contest. So what's been different about this season, getting those newcomers ready to go and playing within your style and making sure they're comfortable within your program. Um, first of all, I think our returners have done an amazing job um, bringing those new kids along with them. Um, and I think that that was a really important aspect of us moving forward as, as quickly as we've had to and so um, those newcomers that have taken the game home with them from the floor and really learned it and, and studied it in their own time and, and came back to the next practice ready to move forward. And we haven't had as many practices as I would have liked, but the way in which that they do that together um, and they follow the returners, um, I really do feel like our newcomers have really stepped it up and stepped it up fast. And so um, I'm not afraid right now to put anyone on the floor and it'll be interesting to see how the year starts out for us. Well, one of those returners is uh, Megan Hedge, one of the best players in this conference, if not the best player in this conference. What's it like getting to watch her day in and day out? That kid's incredible. Um, a lot of people just see, you know, that, that those game situations and how she plays on the floor. But the kid is unbelievable off the floor, too. Um, the way she handles herself, the way she is with her teammates. Um, she's very coachable in the classroom. Um, the kid's really um, successful, honestly, on and off the floor. And those type of kids are great to have on a team um, because it makes your team better. It makes your team better people. And you can't go wrong. And I'm proud of that kid. What has been your biggest focus this off season on the court as you prepare for another season? Um, honestly, um, I think defensively this year, we've really kind of um, focused on, on being out of guard the basketball. I think that's been a weakness of ours in the past. And um, we've definitely recruited a little more to that this year. Um, and obviously we've always been offensively, um, I guess, more um, focused on that. But I, th I think this year, the team that can play defense, you know, with going in and out, offense will come and go this year just because of the amount of time you get to spend on the floor and getting shots up. But I, I think the team that will go a little further this year is a team that can, can guard the ball and stop the ball. And so that's been our main focus and goal so far. 
And last year, you guys had an amazing second semester of your season and things really started to click for you. What was the turning point for you last year and how can you carry that into this season? Um, I think the turning point for us was coming off two losses in a row that we were really hoping to, to win, I think. But um, I, I think, honestly, it was just a matter of time of when our young kids clicked with our new offense, new, new style, um, and just – when you put that many new faces on a team and play that many minutes, it's going to take a little bit. And so I think once they clicked and they realized they could do it and their confidence level went up, um, I think that's when that started to change for them. And so um, those kids have come back this year ready to go. And um, I'm really excited to see the, the new faces that we have again uh, go through that same thing. And coach, what are your expectations for your team this year? Um, honestly, um, any time that you step on the floor, um, you want to be better than the time that you left it. And so um, that's where my focus has been this year. Um, even though you're in and out and, and all those things and ups and downs and, and every team's going to go through that. Did you get better that day? And did you take step forward? Um, and then wait, if you can make it to postseason play, your goal is then to, okay, what can you do to make it to the next step with that? And so really getting the kids that we have, the newcomers on board and, and in the game early here so we can get them some minutes and, and get them ready and, and just see what happens. Um, I expect good things from this team. They're a great group of kids. They work really hard and they're very talented. And so I'm really, really excited for this year. Coach Emma Andrews at Cameron University, thank you so much for your time and good luck this season. No worries. Thank you.